Hi, I'm Franklin Four, author of World Without Mind. So one of the great promises of the internet was that everybody would have their own soapbox. Everybody would be able to express their true selves. But as we've seen, what really happens with Facebook and all the other powerful gatekeepers that, that rule over the internet is that instead of getting individuality, what we get is conformity. We get this great push towards everybody lumping together in tribes because what Facebook does is it creates this feedback loop where it tries to give you everything that you want in order to keep you addicted to their site for as long as possible. And in politics, we've seen the worst of it because instead of everybody being able to formulate and express their own opinions, what we've seen is that people get lumped together in these tribes. And so polarization, which has always plagued American politics, has gotten far worse in the age of Facebook. So I wrote a book called uh, How Soccer Explains the World. And uh, I had to go to the former Yugoslavia to Serbia where I interviewed uh, members of a fan club that had been turned into a genocidal militia during the Bosnian War. And uh, I had a very uh, terrifying, strange encounter with them. The advice that I give to young writers is that you know, writing seems like this romantic profession. It seems like you're able to indulge and, and to really fulfill uh, fulfill your aspirations to do the thing that makes you most happy. But writing can be so lonely and it can be really hard and there are those moments where you just kind of sit and you're so stuck and you really just slam your head against the desk repeatedly. And um, I think it's important to both maintain the romantic illusion that you're doing the thing that is most fulfilling but then also remember the ways in which writing is a job and like all jobs and like all professions, it has its hardships and, uh, and, and it's, you know, it, it's really, it's just not, it's not easy. There's no individual genius who's sitting there at their desk churning the perfect sentence. Even the people who look like that are experiencing passages of blockage and they're churning out crap sentences and they persist. And so you should persist too.